or have some fun with Crazy Taxi. Hey, hey, what's going on, kids? Are you ready to make some crazy money with Crazy t <coughs> Can't do that forever. All right, so this is the Dreamcast version. So I am risking it all in terms of the music that's available in this game. But I stand firm that there's only one version of Crazy Taxi, and that's the arcade original. Anything less just can't suffice. Play by the arcade rules, or work for three minutes, work for five minutes, or work for ten minutes, which apparently no taxi driver has ever worked beyond that limit, apparently. Uh, let's go by arcade rules for now. Let's go buy some crazy money. Yeah, there he goes. That's my dude. Imagine fucking that guy. So that's that's Axel from Streets of Rage's BD Joe. There's Gina. I think I'm gonna take Gina. Hey, hey, hey. Five XE five fifteen sacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, love it. You look okay. Get in. So I i I've never played Crazy Taxi 3 High Roller. A lot of people don't even know that a game even exists. I think it was an Xbox exclusive. I'm not even sure if it was in the arcade, but um I can't really remember right now. I really want to play that version. Oh shit, I botched that. Too much speed. One oh, I want. Yacht Harbor, Jesus, I'm not driving you to the Yacht Harbor. No, absolutely not. You, you have to be a rich motherfucker to be going to the Yacht Harbor, unless you're planning to, to steal a yacht, in which case I am down. So this is optimal crazy taxi play, smashing into everything on your way. Just to let people know that crazy taxiing is happening. Now, I don't know how people feel in general about the service anymore. There's, there's lots of opinions. Would crazy Uber work? Please, five stars. I don't I don't think it has the same gravitas, the ring to it that Crazy Taxi does. Cause at least taxis generally have a yellow color scheme and Ubers don't. Get in punk, you look like a, of course you're going to Tower Records. Man. Remember Pizza Hut, like 90s Pizza Hut when you got the X-Men shit? X-Men video with a mini comic book, pull-out poster, and trading card. That was some good stuff. The ice cream sundae bar! No one, no one remembers this in the comments. I'm, I'm horrified and appalled that I'm actually maybe gonna run out of time here. Oh shit, this is gonna be tight. Oh, this is gonna be tight! No! Oh! I was slow though. What? Alright, it's time to check out how you did today. Now let's take a look. Uh, Klaus D. Lassens. I can't believe, believe it. Is that your best? I don't think so. It was not. That was my okay. first time playing this in like a decade. So fuck all y'all. That was that was that was a that was a practice. I can do better. Go ahead and pick a card. I'll stick with Axel. It's the last time a SEGA developed game had Axel in it, I believe. Alright, let's get it on! Alright, let's get it on, I guess! Jesus. And like, alright, so the soundtrack, right? Offspring, Bad Religion, everything. It, oh, KFC, Tower Records, and what's the other one? Uh, Pizza Hut, god, I was just talking about it. Like, those are also very, very important. To the entire Crazy Tacky, ta Tacky, the Crazy Tacky experience. Jeez, I have Soul Calibur on the brain. Um, this, I would have Tacky on the brain. You are in too deep. It, it's very integral to all of it. Now, there's multiple ports of Crazy Taxi, like on the 360 and PS3, I think. I think there's one on the GameCube as well, but I'm pretty sure they stripped out all the fun real-world stuff. Like, if someone wants, says, I want to go to Sega Records, no thanks. I'll go to Tower Records. God, I'm going to get so many copyright strikes for this. I have to. This will be a very interesting experiment at the very least, you know? I, I have to assume it will be. Kentucky Fried Chicken, we can do that. We can, I can take you there, sir. All, all, all 11 secret herbs and spices. All right, BD Joe. He's very late 90s caricature, that's fine. Okay, at, at, at least, at least all I want is, is ushering me, is, is supporting me here. So, what I, I really actually need to play carefully to do well in this, um, and almost hit many cars. Don't hit cars, but almost hit many. 
to get to get some bonuses. It's kind of like burnout in that sense. And look at those other crazy taxi guys. Those other taxis that are not doing stupid, insane stunts and shit to get like an extra two bucks. Uh, if I ever was in a taxi and the guy like did a fucking cool jump, don't know if I would tip extra. Uh, how do I feel about that? All right, this is Fila, dude. He always wants this. He's like, my shoes have run out. I'm now just running on bare feet. Or my shoes are filled up with blood. And I need new Fila's. Like, whatever can hold my blood the best, that's what I want. But yeah, the arcade I played the most crazy taxi was was in, like, um, St. Catherine Street. It doesn't exist anymore. So... I, I was just kind of like, where's the crazy taxi at? And then they were kind of more about the fighting games this place. And I was like, oh yeah, fighting games are cool. I really like it if we could play crazy taxi though. Get in, pastor. You need to get to the church. I'll get you there this time, I swear. I'm sorry I was lying earlier to you and God, I guess. Oh, there's the church. Get in there. Praise Jesus! Now, I have to be honest, I've never actually played the Dreamcast version, and, um... I don't know what original and Crazy Box mode is. Crazy Box, I like the sound of that, because it implies that there's a box, and that it's somewhat crazy. Let's see what original is. Um, play by arcade rules. Cool. I don't know what the difference there is. Uh... Let's work for five minutes. All right, there's Gus. Okay, I think these characters have stats because he has a different, slightly different tax than the others. I'm not sure. I like his open shirt though. Very Razor Ramon. All right, now she's got a green thing, so I have lots of time to get her there, and I don't think she should be very far away. Green means easy ride. I believe I might be wrong. Oh fuck! I just really need that KFC. I just, I just need it. I could walk there, but I'd rather take a taxi to get to the KFC and then devour said KFC. All right, it's actually the reverse. Uh, green, green uh, uh, passengers will give you a lot of money, but it's a long distance. Get in, bomber jacket. They'll, uh, yeah, they'll give you a lot of money, but the trip is actually quite long. Whereas like red ones. Are, are gonna be cheap, you're not gonna get a lot of money for them, but I mean, they give you more time, so you kinda have to balance it, and, and it's taking me a little while to get used to it once again. And yellow is kind of in the middle, hopefully I can get there. Oh my god, this looks like an outrun track now. Can I go into the water? I, I won't try. Oh. Uh, what? I didn't know you could. I had no idea this was even possible. Bad. <laughs> Cause yeah, like even in the in the uh, next couple of games, like Crazy Taxi Two and Three, you go to like different. There's several different uh, cities, and I only really play. I don't think I've ever played Crazy Taxi Two in the arcade, at least. So uh, I never got to see many of those cities. And and Crazy Taxi Three, I think it's like exclusively in Las Vegas. Maybe maybe there's a different city. But I just remember uh, Las Vegas is on the box art, so I assume that's what that means. You know what? How about here? Why not? And I think I talked about it, it a bit in the video on Radical Entertainment, but... Simpsons, hit, uh, Simpsons Road Rage was such a crazy taxi ripoff that I think Sega took EA to court. I'm pretty sure they did, at least. Um, which is amazing to me! Like, Sega, at, at that time basically a non-entity in the gaming scene uh, since they had just moved to being a third-party publisher so and not nearly the size of EA or still not the size of EA and just the balls the balls of Sega be like yo this is pretty flagrant and EA is like yeah it is and of course uh, big slaps to uh, Derek from Stop Skeletons for doing a couple videos about various crazy taxi style games. There's Smashing Drive, of course. Uh, there's there's Crazy Taxi Catch a Ride. Oh God, what's Crazy Box? You gotta tell me that ma. And I wanna be Gina again. Crazy Box, Jump Pat, oh, so it's just a bunch of crazy, um, <laughs> it's just a bunch of weird stunts to do. Without falling into the sea, take the customer. What is this? Come on, let's go. Oh, 
Oh, it's actually kind of dirty. <laughs> Goes great. All right, let's go back to arcade. Uh, one more run. I'm sure I gotta be able to get a C rank at the very fucking least. C's is what I saw the most in school. Uh, I'll stick with Axel. Uh, you, you get in. You look okay. All right, gotta get more money. Gotta almost hit everybody. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't too bad, that wasn't too bad. And next up is Fila Guy again, but let's let's not let's not pick him up. Let's let's go for somebody else. Get out of the way. Who who are you? I don't know. Not familiar, but get in. Wait, it's Fila Man again? How? You know, but when you really say arcades, you can say you know, uh, various Capcom fighting games, Mortal Kombat, what have you, but it's like, Crazy Taxi always has to be in the conversation. Like, it, it, it needs to be. And I saw that bright yellow cabinet, and I, you know, it really stood out. There's a whole really interesting article on Retro Gamer Magazine, uh, if I can remember, I'll link it in the description, that just talks about the history of Crazy Taxi and like, uh, uh, the development woes about making it, and it's really interesting. Like, they were like, yeah, this might do okay, but because they designed the cabinet to be so attractive, like, visually, uh, it did much, much better because of that somehow, and I'll believe it. I will totally believe that. Look, that's the KFC. Does this guy, does, does this god man want to eat KFC? No, he wants to eat, uh, the flesh of Christ. <laughs> Get into the heliport! I don't know why you need to do it the heliport, but no judgment here, crazy taxi. Yo, I really need to get to the uh, furry S&M club. Hey, that's right, get in. I love that B-Star shit. All right, this Karen wants to be taken to the baseball stadium. I don't know why, but we'll try our best. And just, when I think of Sega in like, uh, our, in terms of the art, in terms of Sega's full identity, I think of Crazy Taxi. I think of graphics that look like Crazy Taxi. I think of, um, you know, a lot of the racing games and Virtua Fighter. Because it's like, Sega never made that many 2D, like, arcade games. Aside from, like, your, your occasional Golden Axe or Altered Beast. And after that, they just kind of stopped and they just went all in on, on Polygon, which is fine. I mean, they're ahead of the curve on that. One thing I'll always give Sega is that they. They, they were the ones that really stepped up 3D, 3D gaming in the arcades, which, you know, predates most uh, 3D game development by a lot. That was crazy! They also normalized using uh, Offspring in video games, which is neat. Oh, fuck. Breaks! All right, I'm actually making some uh, decent money. Not crazy money, but decent. I'm really trying to talk a whole bunch and concentrate on the game. I need to talk so I can hopefully talk over the music. Oh God, eh, get in there. Give me my money. No, it's someone else. I need someone. Get in my fucking cab. It's crazy. Yes. Go to the baseball stadium. You've got 10 fucking seconds, son. That was crazy. Give me extra money. It's right there. Ah! Oh, fuck. All right, that was almost three grand. Come on. I did it! You better try it again. No, I'm mediocre. That's my whole gimmick. Okay, I hope that took you down memory lane a little bit with my with my sloppy driving. It sure did for me. Uh, but yeah, Crazy Taxi is still really fun. Still really holds up. Um, depending on how you guys liked seeing, you know, these crazy memories, I might I might try to put in Crazy Taxi 3 High Roller. Because again, I think that might have been a console exclusive. So it's a little bit more conductive for like home play um, and not have like all the like kind of arcade rule. I'm sure the arcade rules are in there somewhere, but I would be interested in trying it out. I've never actually even seen it running. I just own a copy of it for years, but let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can give you something truly crazy.